Good morning, folks, and welcome to another fly fishing episode. I have come to this little creek right here, and I've fished this creek before, not very much. I caught some fish, some little cutthroat trout, but today we're gonna be going up. I'm gonna be walking on this trail, and I'm gonna explore new areas of this creek that I've never fished or explored. So, so hopefully we find some cool spots and maybe even some big fish. There's not really any big fish in here, but there are some nice ones. So let's get started. Oh, check that out. Look at that, okay. We're gonna start right here. So we got a little mini waterfall right here and it dumps into this big pool and it looks pretty deep. It looks like it's four or five feet deep down there. Oh, and I can see a fish. There's a fish right there. All right, so here's the setup I'm rocking today. I got my TFO NXT combo. I've been using it the past few videos and it's a really good starter rod like if you're just getting into fly fishing and you want a decent rod that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. I definitely recommend this guy right here. I'll actually put a link to it in the description and if you use that link you're actually helping me out. I get a little bit of kickback from it and you get a nice rod. I've really been enjoying using this thing and I've caught lots of fish with it so if you want to check it out link will be in the description below and i'm going to start off by using this red cardinal fly i think it's called a cardinal nymph and i heard this does really well for these stream trout and i'm just gonna flip it right into that white water and just let the current drift it around and wait for the bite oh there's a fish there's a fish i saw him come out and look at it just a little guy Oh, there's a lot of fish down there. Holy cow. You know what? I'm going to adjust my indicator. They are pretty deep. They're just sitting right on the bottom. I'm going to need a good three feet. Oh. Ah, I missed one. Missed the first one. Got him. I watched him come up and take it. There we go. Bring him over here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, nope, there he goes. All right, well there was the first one of the day. I'm gonna count it. Just a probably eight inch cutthroat. There we go. That's a good one. Ah, nope, he fought hard, but it's just a little guy. Nice, he's putting up a fight, I'll tell you that. Unless I hooked him in the side, he's really putting up a fight. Bring him over here. I'm just going to flip him up. First landed fish of the day. Beautiful little cutthroat. I did hook him kind of right in the pecs, in the pectoral fin. That's why he was fighting a little bit harder, but he definitely went for it. He freaking took that. Man, that is just a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous little native cutthroat. We'll get him back. There he goes, back to the crystal clear water. I can see the fish on the bottom swimming around because this water is just so clear. So I actually did some re-rigging for that fish. I went for like 15 minutes without getting a bite and it was because my tapered leader was way too long and this fly couldn't sink because the diameter of that tapered leader was just so thick. It was taking a lot longer to sink down. And by the time it sunk down, the current would have already taken it away. So I shortened my tapered leader to like a foot. And then I put on some light four pound test for like four feet. And that lighter line makes it so this fly can sink down deep enough without the current taking it away. So, and that seemed to do the trick. Got two bites almost instantly. There we go, another one. Another nice cutty. Little fish, but a pretty fish. And I think for the most part, all these fish are wild. Born and bred in this stream. Oh, there he goes. All right, well this is a cool little spot. Caught a few fish, but I'm just gonna keep moving. I could probably stay there and keep catching fish, but I just wanna keep exploring and see what else this creek has to offer. Check it out, guys. We've gone from the steep, narrow canyon, and now the stream's starting to open up, and we got some pine trees, and I'm actually starting to see a lot more fish. The only downside is now it's even harder to cast because there's so many trees. I can see a fish right there, up shallow. 
Let's see if I dip the fly right in front of him, how he reacts. It's right in front of his face. Come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Hmm. I don't think he wants anything to do with it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I just spooked him. There we go. Got him. That was perfect. Flip it right in there. And he took it. There he goes. Dang it. That was a pretty nice one. Let's try that again. Maybe there's another one. Dude, he ate it again. No way. No freaking way. I think that's the same fish. I saw him cruising right there and he came right over. This honestly might be the same fish. Another beautiful cut. Dude, it does not get better than this. I freaking love fishing, man. I think that's number three of the day. The third landed one. There he goes. Come oh, on, let's get another one. Another one. Dude, they're stacked right there. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. That's a good one. <laughs> they're stacked. Oh, dang it. That was the biggest one. Oh, little guy. Oh, dang. There's a bite. I can see him. Oh, he spit it. He spit it. But I watched him take it. Oh, there's one right below it. He's looking at it. They're interested. They're interested for sure. One just needs to go for it. Oh, that's a good one going to it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Maybe if I give it a little bit of movement. Yep, there's that little guy. This was not the one I saw, but I'll take it. That's a cute little fish. You can see how defined their patterns are when they're this small. They got really bright fins. I mean, look how pretty that is. I am happy catching those all day. Such a cool looking fish. There he goes. All right, now let's see if we can get one of those bigger ones down there that I can see. They were probably just letting the little guy go for it first to wait and see what happens. So who knows, maybe they're scared now. Maybe I need to switch flies. I'm gonna pull out my fly box here and we're gonna try something totally different. I'm gonna try this guy. It's just like a little black and red zebra midge with a white head. They don't seem to want this one either. What in the heck do they want? All right, so here's the third fly I'm gonna try at this spot. It's just a little bit bigger nymph with some green and orange on it. A little bit more flashy. I can see two good cutthroat just sitting right there. Come on, come on, it's floating right to them. There we go. No, no. I'm gonna walk to the other side, change the angle up on them. Maybe they can see me. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got one of the bigger ones. No. What am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm setting the hook pretty good and I'm waiting for him to take it all the way under. There we go. Finally. What the heck? There we go. There we go. Okay, we can't lose him. We can't lose him. I'm gonna bring him over here. Nice. Finally, I've been fishing this spot for a good minute. And I finally outsmarted one of these nicer ones. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, we'll get him back. That water is, wow, that water's really cold. I switched to another fly. I've used four different flies in this one spot. And that guy came on this little black, black and gray nymph. Well guys, it is lunchtime and I brought with me some Subway. Black Forest ham on Italian herb and cheese bread. Can't beat it. 
All right, folks, back at it. I am fully recharged. Are there any fish down here? Oh, yep, yeah, there's one right there. There's one right there. I dropped it right on his head. Dropped it right on his head. Got him. Got him. He went for it. <laughs> Hooked up. Hooked up. Okay, how do I do this? I don't want to try flipping him and break my rod, so I'm just going to bring him over here. Wow, look at that one. It looks a little bit different than all those other ones. Oh, no. Well, there he goes. Hope you guys got a good look at him. All right, this is another really good looking spot. Got a little waterfall and a really deep pool. Lots of water, lots of fish are gonna be hiding in there. So I'm gonna adjust my indicator so I'm fishing like three feet down, toss it in that white water, and let the current take it. There we go. There we go. Oh, bye bye, there he goes. There we go, another one. Hey, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Oh wow, wow, that's the biggest one. Wow, wow, he's really fighting. Holy crap. This is the hardest fighting fish of the day. Look at that, check it. He fought like a freaking bulldozer. Barely hooked in the tip of the nose. We'll let him go. Back in the icy cold water. There we go. Another one, dude. They're stacked right here. They're stacked. There he is. Oh! <laughs> dude, I'm getting bit like crazy right here. This little spot right here, there's like a light patch of sand. And I can see them all sitting right there. There's another one. This big white patch of sand is where they're all stacked up. This is crazy, dude. And there he goes. Quick catch and release. And... There he is. There he is. Another one. This is absurd. Whoop. There he goes. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, I love these fish. I love them. Look at that, he's barely skin hooked. That's all tension right there. Got him. My fly's even starting to come untied. That's how many fish I've caught. See ya, buddy. Got him. Another one. Number like 10 from this spot. Almost looks a little bit like a rainbow. But I don't think there's any rainbows in here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, there he goes. And set. <laughs> Woohoo! I don't even know if I'm gonna put all these fish on camera because I'm up to like 15 out of this spot. Hey yeah, guys, check it out. My fly is shredded. Totally shredded. I mean, we could still probably catch a couple on it, but it's it's about to be retired here. There he is. That's a decent one. Yeah, there's a good one. That fly is still getting it done. Well folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Lately, I've just been practicing fishing these small creeks with the fly rod, and I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm catching fish, and we're learning a lot. So if you enjoyed watching me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out this rod if you're interested. If you're getting into fly fishing and want a decent starter rod, check this out. I've been using it, and it works like a charm. So link to this will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.